Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about a niche that people have not been paying attention to, but there's a lot of potential for you guys to start making money as web developers. So let's get started. Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again one more time. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so let's get started with this, man. Web XR. What exactly does that mean? It means xr but on the web right and xr means extended reality it basically covers everything from ar which is augmented reality then you have vr which is virtual reality and mr which is like mixed reality in between both now wait i know what you're thinking yo joe i'm a web developer i build websites i build emails i build web applications like why are you talking to me about virtual reality and augmented reality this is not what i signed up for Okay, but the truth is that you can pretty much use all of the skills that you have as a web developer with this new technologies. And if you're not paying attention to it, you're actually missing out on a lot of money because there's a huge demand for this, but not enough people knowing the skills. And just like emails, there's a purpose for AR and VR, right? So I'll give you an example. We'll start with emails. With emails, you capture a customer's email through a sign up page, right? A newsletter. It could be from when they purchase something on a store. And now that you got their email, you can go in and update them on new products that are coming out. Um, things like, hey, there's a new sale for Black Friday. And you can help that business actually get a 10% to 30% increase in revenue because now you're bringing those customers to the store to be able to purchase, right? So again, this is the same thing that you can do with augmented reality or even virtual reality. Let's say this is an e-commerce company and this e-commerce company sells sneakers, handbags, sunglasses, right? You can actually use AR to give an experience of the product. So for example, let's say they have the new Jordans, right? It's Nike and they wanna go in and give somebody a preview of how the sneaker actually looks in front of them. And they could go in and swivel around and actually you know, do a 360, see how the product actually looks and what's like the materials on it, right? You can actually create an experience using that. But you can also do something like this. Let's say you sell glasses. You can go in and give the person a preview of how the glasses will actually look on them. And as far as virtual reality, you have things like this where you can actually go in and see the actual hotel of the Marriott, right? So before someone books even a night at the Marriott, they could actually see what the hotel lobby looks like, what the rooms will look like. Again, you know, what's the rooftop looks like. There's a lot of different things that you can do as far as like virtual reality. I mean, we could even go into the world of, hey, can we make an online store where it's a virtual experience where you could pretty much walk around the actual boutique and choose different products and say, hey, I want to buy this one. I want to get an extra large. I want to buy this sneakers, right? Like sky's the limit and really it's up to you and your creativity what you want to actually go and create. And yes, there's a lot of big brands that are already using these technologies to help them promote their products, but we can pretty much now use the same technologies to be able to help small to medium sized businesses. So it's not just the big boys that can actually do this. We can do this for any business that needs a service like this, right? It could be somebody who has a new soda or uh you know kombucha they're making or uh, hey they're making you know their own t-shirts at home and they would like to go in and create an experience for their customers you can also do something cool like this with the packaging just like how pizza hut basically created a pac-man game with their box so not only did it help the customer be able to reuse that box for something right so again recycle friendly right but at the same time, it helped them become viral online. And a lot of people were using their, you know, their boxes to play the game between, you know, their families, right? I mean, you could do the same thing with the packaging of any product. And we haven't even started talking about location-based experiences. So I'll give you this example here where they take an obelisk, right? And they basically modified it through augmented reality, right? I believe this is in Paris. 
and they went in and just basically wrapped it around with you know some animations like this is something that's pretty cool that you could do for your local town or your local uh you know company that's nearby that wants to do something in front of their business right and take a look at this one right here this one is actually pretty cool i like it because they went out of their way and created like an experience from the outside of the business so it was a mural but then they went in and basically just customized it and made it into an experience for their customers where they could change the eye or change how the eye looks from you know from within etc right so it's actually pretty cool and what's the things that we actually need to know to be able to create things like this it's very simple it's just the same thing we've been using for the web html css javascript if you've been focusing on the front end right or you've been doing pretty much the basics of web development you can get started with this this is not something that's outside of this world now, of course, you are going to have to add a couple of extra skills, like understanding how to work in a 3D space, right? Understanding how to work with different frameworks and engines, for example, like A-Frame, uh, A-Ford, um, things like 3JS, maybe Babylon JS, right? It depends on which one you want to choose and what exactly is it that you want to accomplish, right? So once you already know like what you want to create, like you choose one framework to actually go and build this type of experiences. But again, this is actually like really, really cool technology that every single one of you guys can get started with. It's just now about how you're gonna go and learn these things, right? Now, of course, I'm making this video to let you guys know that, yeah, we are adding to codingphase.com an XR developer career path. Now, I'm not saying for you guys to stop whatever you're doing and say, well, Today, I'm just gonna stop everything. I'm just gonna become an XR developer. No, I think that if you are starting to become an email developer, if you're starting to become a PHP developer, full stack developer, etc., continue doing what you're doing. Always finish what you already are on, right? But there's gonna be days where you might wanna take a day off. And there's days that you might say, you know what? I would like to start learning another skill that I could maybe start freelancing with, okay? And maybe I could go in and say, well, this is my second year as a developer. I would like to pivot from being a front end developer or a email developer and maybe transition to becoming an XR developer, right? Now, again, if you are in the process of just starting your career, of just getting your first job, I would definitely recommend for you to continue whatever you're doing. But if you're already in a job or you have an extra time throughout your week, this is not gonna hurt you. This is not gonna hurt you to learn about XR development. It's actually gonna add a value to you as a developer, especially with everything that's happening right now. I mean, on June 6th, if I'm not mistaken, right? Apple is about to announce their new Apple glasses, right? The Oculus, which is the one that I have right here, right? This is the Oculus Quest, right? Meta Quest Pro, et cetera, right? This have already been out, but when Apple drops their glasses, it's a wrap. This is going to be mainstream, beyond mainstream. So at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you can be part of this new wave. I can tell you right now, a lot of people became millionaires and became rich and became very successful when the new iPhone dropped. Not because they were amazing developers, not because they were changing the world, it's because they created a very simple note app. It's because they created a simple uh, calculator application. It's because they went in and built Flappy Bird. You know what I'm saying? There's moments in time that if you're part of it, you can really take advantage of that wave because no one else it's on this. I can tell you right now, you can see there's something bubbling up over the last year or so where you're seeing a little bit more content on 3JS, but the content that you're seeing on 3JS is really to create like little stupid animations on a website. It's like, hey, here's a circle, how the circle goes and does a, you know, does a circle 360. That's like little kid stuff. Right. Uh, hey, let's take a this little animation of, of a guy and let's create this for our portfolio website. That's very, very simple stuff. That's like the baby stuff that 
you know, people are creating. But this is where it starts, okay? People are getting exposure to working with a 3D space. If you ever use React VR, React 3 Fiber, right? This is where things are going. Now, for us as web developers, our job is to reuse the skills that we have and continue to grow within the industry. We cannot stay behind. We cannot go in and say, well, um, everything that I know is just in a 2D space. Guess what? We're now jumping into a space where it's about creating experiences. Same thing how it used to be back in the days. And back in the days, you just go to a website. It has a bunch of text, a bunch of links, and that's it, right? Then from there, Flash came out. Right. And then you had animations and you had different things like that. Then you had the wave of like the bootstrap where, you know, you have responsive websites, right? There's something coming now that you cannot stay behind. And it's actually this web XR. Okay. So again, we are adding a new section on codingphase.com for XR development and specifically web xr because you could do xr development with unity you could do it with unreal engine right and there's all different type of use cases for this but i'm focusing on web xr for a specific reason we're web developers we're not game developers we're not you know movie directors right etc we are web developers so what i'm doing is going in and say hey what are the things that we can do with using our skills that we have as web developers and how we can go in and take advantage of these things and, and again one of the reasons why web xr is going to be very popular is for the same reason that there is mobile responsive websites okay you don't have to go in and install an application to go to a website with your phone you just go to your phone right put in your, your location right your url that you want to go to and then from there that's it you go to the website and the website's mobile right back in the days everyone had to have an application for it with webxr is the same thing there's going to be apps that need the full power of the native ios system or the native android system but for most cases you can just go in and use the web. If you go to a website and I want to buy a sneaker, again, to give you that same example, if I want to go in and do that, I don't need to go and download the app of Nike. I could just go to nike.com, click on the button. Guess what? The augmented reality experience opens up. I could see the sneaker right there. I didn't have to install anything. I didn't have to do anything. Okay. Everything was just right there given to me. So again, this is why this is such an important moment in time. Um, and I wanted to let you guys know about this because this is something that we are going to be focusing a lot on codingphase.com. And I'm telling you guys right now, before everybody starts jumping on this bandwagon, guess what? Codingphase.com has been already preparing for this for over a year now. Okay. We already have a curriculum set up. We already have gone through every single uh, resource that's out there. And we have basically created the best platform to learn web xr okay all the videos will be released this summer the courses will be released there's gonna be a bundle and of course if you are a diamond member of codingphase.com you get it for free you're already a diamond member you already pay for your subscription so again take advantage links is in the description um go in there you know if you want to get started with codingphase.com this is the benefits that you get with codingphase.com we go in and we do the research on what's happening in the industry and we add that to our website we don't get stuck on something or we don't go in and build things because they're trending we do a lot of research and make sure that when we go and post something on codingphase.com it's going to get results for our students okay so anyways man codingphase.com go check it out guys and you already know it's your boy joe back at it again okay give a like if you are excited for this new journey uh, if you're interested in this leave a comment i want to know who here is actually interested in it um if you want to be notified for this just pretty much go in and check the description probably have a link in there 
where you can pretty much put your email and we will notify you we'll send you an email um, of all the news that's happening with web vr and everything that's happening with a web xr right and everything that's going on in this industry all right guys anyways it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com peace